Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Hugo. We're Sell Quick, Ship Quick, part-time resellers. Full-time hustlers. And we have a thrift haul this week. We got a few things. And I picked up some of, uh, you know, my hard goods. There's some. There's some, but I have a real fun one. Uh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. You'll see in a moment. But let's get started. So, 15 to 20? 15 to 20. 15 to 20. We have three pieces in the 15 to 20 dollar price range. Um, this is a Harley Davidson. Um, it's got a man on a bike. Man on a bike. Um, and it says antique trading supply. Um, and on the back it says Paris. And yeah, this is a really small shirt. This is an extra small. Yeah. It's like... Being that it says France, I'm going to say that's a French man on a bike. Sure. Yeah. But this one is an extra small shirt. And I don't think this is like shrunken. I think this is just a really small shirt. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Next up, we have... This is a new to me brand. Uh, Robert Barquette. Um, I didn't recognize the tag, so I looked it up. And it said Montreal, so... I figured... Made in Canada. Actually, it's made in Thailand. Oh. But it said Montreal on it. So it's just a basic t-shirt. Um, this is actually a 100% Pima cotton t-shirt for men's and a large. Um, the, I think, long sleeves are in like the upper 20s, early, low, th early 30s, <laughs> low 30s. Uh, but just the basic t-shirt, I think, was like close to 20. Yeah. And then we have a Maeve top anthropology. Nice polka dot shirt. It does have these cute buttons coming down the side. Um, and open here. Really nice big polka dots. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is a small. Yeah. Heading on now to 20 to 30. 20 to 30 is a big check section, isn't it? It is a big check section. <laughs> All right, so in this section, okay, there so we have Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. Wait, what else? And Lulu, Lulu Lemon, not Lulu, Lulu Ro, Ro or Lulu's. Lulu. All right, so this one, we have a, I forgot, there was a specific name. I found the name for this, but I can't remember what it was. But it does have this crisscross back here. Uh, and this one has the padding in it. Yep. There. This one also has the padding in it. And this blue one. I don't know if this comes off, but the straps are actually like a satin strap. They're very pretty. And I've never seen that before on Lululemon. Um, this Lululemon has the little bungee thing at the bottom to cinch. I think it's like the cinched waist. Lululemon top. Um, this one does not come with the padding. And then this one is the Run Swiftly tank top. Uh, the We just sold our last one, which was a pink Run Swiftly. It sold, I think, two weeks ago. That one actually had the little tag on it. Um, normally, Lululemon, if you don't see the price tag here, it'll be inserted in where the cup goes. But because this is just a really thin tank, it doesn't have it. But I think this might be a size four. Uh, but I will include the measurements in my listing. And here we have uh, a Moomoo, extra small. Show me your Moomoo. Well, I mean, it's part of the name I got it. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> so this one's just a basic cami. And what size is it? Extra small. I got that right. And then we have this John Varvados, which I actually found. Uh, if you guys happen to catch us, we did a quick uh, Instagram live with Pure House of Podcast, and I showed this one there. Cool skulls, size small. And it has wings, too. Yeah, skulls with wings. I mean, uh, that's going to fly. Ho -ho. All right, here we have a Wilfred in an extra small, a really 
oversized extra small. So here's the Wil the Wilfred tag. Um, it is a, I guess this would be like a boxy top. Yeah, that's pretty boxy. Um, and it does have this like ruched detail for the sleeve right here. Um, I think, let's see. This one is just a basic shirt. It's a shirt. It kind of feels like linen, but it's not linen. This one is made well, extra small. Um, it's got these little baby polka dots on it. And even though the back looks like it's cotton, um, the shirt on the tag label, it says that it's 100% silk all around. And I didn't know this before today, like right before this, when I was looking up the styles. So the style for the Madewell tops is actually on the inside. So this one is style 72737. Oh. There you go. The more you know. Have a nice, uh, I believe this is moth, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And it has a four, 3D? 40. 3D. Oh, 3D? Not 40? No, 4D. Because if it was 40, I think they'd be able to experience it while watching You it. guys can feel this, right? Um, Touch the screen, see what happens. So this 3D applique, applique, I don't know, applique, yeah. I think, flower, and it's got like little beading in the center of the flower, if you can see that, that little black part, those are actually little beading pieces. Um, this moth sweater is a size medium and the flowers continue on into the back. Uh, and then we have this nice schwa. Uh, size small, so it's a little oversized. Um, is this 100%? Yep. 100% silk. And it's got this really nice embroidery at the top. I think this is an off the shoulder and it has a really cute little tassel. Thing at the sleeves and it's got a cinched waist and it's got a lace detail at the bottom as well then we have this uh, extra large Michael Kors and this Michael Kors came from our client so this was free 99 appreciate it 99 yes uh, tunic yeah I think so yeah it looks tunic ish you're just gonna yeah I'm just gonna give you that one so this one is the Amore, Amore Vert, right here. Um, this one is a size small, made in the USA, uh, long sleeve, and it's got a cute little tie front here. I think this is just a cotton sweater, um, maybe, because the tag is missing from the inside. But it's really soft and it's stretchy. Uh, and then we have this uh, Every J. Not every day, it sounds like it, but it's every day. And uh, new with tags, size small P. Yeah, it's very loose fitting. And that's all I have. So this is a pajama top. Oh, that's why it's loose feeling. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Fitting. laughs> so this one is, so it says it right here, it is Love Letters PJ Set. And I think this is sold at Anthropology. When I looked it up, I saw listings for it at Anthropology. What are we there? Oh. Vince. Nice Vince top. Vince striped, small. I think this one is 100% Pima cotton. And it has a pocket. Mm-hmm. All right, next up, this is the first time we found this brand, um, NSF which is also made in the USA. Uh, this one is a medium. So some of the sweaters and more like intricate looking pieces go for more, but this one, I did find comps for like basic shirts uh, in the mid to upper $20 range. So that's what we're hoping to get for this. Yeah. Then we have this, uh, well, it doesn't say the name, but the logo tells you what it is. And that's a, so let's see, before you say it, think in your head, what is this brand? Because you can also see it on the back right here. But this is an outdoors brand. And it's got these cute um, 
button things right here for the pockets in the front and these are actual pockets and not fake pockets like yeah. some shirts do um but this one is an extra small and if you haven't thought of the brand yet it's actually on the buttons here i don't know if you can see that see there it is there so it is cool k-u-h-l yeah it's a good outdoor brand pants and tops and then this is a 11 is 11s 11s are so so this is 11 z's 11 z's from anthropology uh i actually just found a comp that was a recent sold hoping that this goes to um i don't know if this would be considered chambray or I'd just say like it's a chambray. a jean no it's not really jean i'd definitely go with chambray oh. <laughs> But this 11Z's is a size medium. And also has a pocket. Then we have another moth. Uh, polka dot. Large. Large. Sweater. Sweater with like a, what would this be a, what do you call it? Scal scallop neck line? Yeah, it looks scallopy. And it's got a little keyhole. Like, Look at that. I know things. <laughs> okay, so this one is Rain Spooner. This is Rain Spooner for women's, and this is a small top. And we actually have this exact one in a large, so we will add the quantity. Or, yeah, variable. Variable listing for this one. Yeah. So that we don't take up two listings on eBay. Exactly. All right, here we have... Here we have a J. Crew with lace detail uh, sweater, extra small. As you can see, it has a color difference there, two tone. Um, again, that is all I have. And this is a wool blend. Ooh. All right. Next up, we have a metal roux. This is also from Anthro. This one is a size small right here um yeah it's got these like little polka dot things on the top part of the blouse um, and it does have a button cuff down here um i think it's just a really nice like businessy top yeah. then we have a we have some madewell here a little madewell sweater uh, size small, but as you can see, it's fairly big, small. Uh, yeah. And it's got this little, like, cross front detail. Yeah. Nice color. Green like the green. For Christmas. Green for Christmas. Then here we got another Mave. Anthropology brand, uh, size medium. In this beautiful blue. Slight sheer in the back. And, uh... It has two pockets in the front. And it's a roll tab, because you can see the little button halfway down the arm. So there is a strap somewhere in here. Here you go. Right there. So if you have these shirts, make sure you include that in the listing. And then here we go with another Madewell, because, I mean, we're thankful that we can find Madewell so often. But real nice knit sweater. Okay, so I think like our made walls are, I think for the most part, they are like bread and butter items now. I think before they were selling a little bit higher. Yeah, but we are finding them more frequently where we are. And this one, I had just looked this up and I think what I found was that this is a considered um, hex comb, hex comb texture. I don't know if you guys can see that like variation in that knitting style i think that's what they're referring to as the hex comb and also i broke the hanger so <laughs> <laughs> i thought i heard something <laughs> snap <laughs> okay so this is lucky brand um i lucky brand kind of varies uh i the like the t-shirts go from what i've seen and from the comps that i've looked up they're 
on the lower end of the price ranges for just basic t-shirts but i thought that this blouse is really nice really um, nice pattern yeah the detail the blouse is like in really good condition it feels really nice uh i thought this was like a cute business looking top um and then when i looked up comps they were a lot of them were selling in the upper 20s so that was a nice surprise for lucky brand and then we have this uh soft schwa size extra small Again, very flowy shirt as a size is small, extra small, but it's yep. fairly big. And here's the soft joie label. What do you call that pattern again? Um, I think this is paisley there you right go. here. The little squiggly squigs. Yeah, it looks like a bandana. Yeah. I don't know what that other stuff is. Uh, it's an artichoke. Yes, these are artichokes. <laughs> they look artichokey. Look. Do these look like artichokes? Let us know in the comment. That's pretty artichoke. <laughs> Tell us in the comment <laughs> what they are, guys. <laughs> All right, so here we have a cloth and stone. This cloth and stone is a small. I'm not sure what to call this design. Splatter? Yeah, I have no name for Splatter that. stripe? DNA spread or DNA I don't know. tracing. It looks like. Sure. It looks like it is. So they do DNA tracing. So I have heard from other people that cloth of stone doesn't sell as well for them anymore. Um, I still have a hard time leaving it behind. So I usually pick them up. It's on me. But, but they do sell for us. Yeah, that's why it's within our bread and butter section. Alright, next up. We have this uh, Diletta. Uh, Would this be a wrap? Top or faux wrap? Yeah, I think there's like a faux wrap, ruched front, floral, and it wraps all the way into the back too. But it's a really cute little springy top, and I know we're going into winter, but. Yeah, we get darker colors and whatnot, but nice little pastels. And here we go, we got a, uh, what is this one? Eileen. Oh, Eileen. So this Eileen looks like a thermal, but this Eileen Fisher right here. Tag is a little bit wrinkly, but Eileen Fisher, this is a medium. Um, this one is an organic cotton cashmere blend sweater. Um, I don't know what to call this bottom part when it like scoops. Um, high low? No. No. <laughs> high low means it actually has to go high low. <laughs> All right, and then Vince. We found a Vince sweater. This needs a little bit of lint roll, but it does have a little slit on the side here. This Vince is an extra small. An extra small. This is 100% cotton, and it's got this cute, like, coral red detail on the sleeves. Um, yeah. Really nice. Then we have this uh, Lulu's... Um, this be a bodysuit? Mm -hmm. Bodysuit that is also a full wrap. And it also has a... New with tags. Uh-huh. And a keyhole. Look at that. I think this is taupe, the color. It's not nude. It I think this familiar. is... I think this is considered taupe. I think it's dope. All right, Bailey 44 from Anthro. This one is an extra small. I think it's a really nice uh, holiday piece, like the velvet. I picked up a bunch of velvet tops recently. I think it's in. Um, and it does have a lace sleeve cuff and lace hem. That's yeah, real nice. And then we have this uh, real nice comfy looking Prana extra small dress. And it's got the ruching at the bottom. And there's a name for it, but I think this is supposed to like... Like you could pull it up a little bit? Yeah. So I think this line here is where like the waist goes, so I think you can pull it up to do the little... Oh, like extra fold? Yeah. There you go. And then we have uh, another Lulu's, except this is going to be uh, sleeveless. Oh no, this is not sleeveless. What kind of... Is this caps? Look at a cap sleeve. Black Lulu's dress. What's the bottom? Bottom is scallop. 
It's like I'm getting tested. All right, and then we have some pants. Oh, man down. Here. All right, so right here we have this really nice pencil skirt right here. You guys can see that. And it still has a little thread thing in the back for where the slit is. Um, this one is the J. Crew number two pencil skirt. You can see that. Nice. Then we have, you guys can see this design, peacock design. It's like the peacock feathers. Um, I think you say, this is Anzi right here. Uh, and this one is new with tags. Um, and it's got a yogi on the back. This is the Capri printed legging pink peacock. Yeah. Made in the USA. Nice. Be one with the body. That's what the tag says. Hmm. Yeah. Then we have this Not Your Daughter jeans. Uh, it's a nice big size. And they're pull-up elastic waist pants. These are a 20W. Um, yeah, okay, so sense. also, like, today I was, like, tinkering with eBay. So if you are an eBay seller, if you're looking at... Um, or if you're curious to find what brands are doing well on eBay, uh, when you go to the desktop or the classic view for the site, not from your eBay app, but on a computer, um, one of the tabs at the top, I think it's sourcing guidance. Yeah. Somewhere up there, if you go to sourcing guidance, you can click on categories that you want to see uh, where they're like what are the top selling brands in a category. So if you are a clothing reseller like us, I actually clicked on jeans today um, and Not Your Daughter jeans are still in the top 10 for um, in the selling category for eBay. So number one on eBay jeans right now is still Rock Revival or no, Rock Revival? Yes, Rock Revival. Um, and then Not Your Daughters is somewhere in there and Madewell was like at the bottom of the list. Not Your Daughters like somewhere in the middle. So if you're ever curious for like you're looking at your own bolo list or trying to find a bolo list, that eBay page would be a really good sourcing guide for you. Perfect. Well, going on for more with more pants. What is this one? Oh, this is Lulu. So these Lulu pants I really liked and I almost kept, but I didn't because they have pockets. Mm. But I prefer the high-waisted ones, but it does have a little zipper in the back. And in the zipper pocket, it is a size six. Nice. We got an Athleta. Yep, and here's the symbol for Athleta. If you don't know what it looks like this one is an extra small just capri legging and a navy blue this one does not have pockets and then we have this one is yep zella so zella is the nordstrom athletic wear and i think yeah i think it's just nordstrom but these zella leggings i honestly was passing up zella leggings for a bit because i didn't think that they were selling well until I watched Denali El Ducho's recent haul or recent what sold or maybe like two weeks ago she did a what sold and Zella leggings were selling for her I think I think she sold hers at like 20 to 22 ish but she was saying how they're really fast sellers for her so when I saw them at the thrift store I trust Denali so I picked them up and we'll see how quickly they sell once I list them. Okay, so these pants are from Anthro. These are the 11 C's in a size six, but I thought they were really fun dressy pants and they're the super duper flowy wide leg. That's what I meant, wide leg. Um, and these are, let's see made from something they are made of something oh these are just rayon pants but they do have the side zipper here they have pockets i don't know if you can see it in the viewing but it does have like a detailed 
like a texture to it. Yeah, a detailed texture to it. Yeah, and it's got fake pockets on the back, so don't get fooled by that. <laughs> Then we got these nice uh, floral print. Uh, there's Morzella. Athleta. Athleta. There it is. There it is. So, Athleta, I couldn't find it, but once I look closely, you can. There it is. See a little symbol. Oh, look how cute these are. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. They're not hibiscus. Or are they? They're not tulips, no. No. Definitely not tulips. Okay. This symbol for athletic wear. And these are Lorna Jane. So if you find Lorna Jane in the wild and the tag is cut off like many of the items, um, if you see this symbol, this is the Lorna Jane symbol. If you can't find that, somewhere on the item. Lorna Jane, I don't know if this is for all their items, but a lot of the ones that we picked up, there's a little tiny heart inside. I don't know if you can see that. No? Mm, there you go. There it is. So the little heart, um, do you remember those stickers when we were little? Uh, like a 3D sticker? Yes, the little puffy 3D stickers. Yeah. That's what that little heart feels like. So that's in the inside of the pieces. And I don't know the sizes for this. So I'm going to put the measurements. But this looks like an extra small. Or small. Or small. That looks like small. Then we have uh, another pair of Zella. Like she said, Nordstrom Active Wear. Uh, these Zellas... I wish all these, oh, haha. -ha. I wished it into existence. I didn't know that the tag was in here. These are extra small Zellas. So this is in that little pocket that comes in the Like for your leggings. keys and stuff. Yeah, or like a key. But this nice, I think, heathered gray. Like yeah. when it looks all mixy. I knew that mixy meant heathered. I think, don't get my word for it. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, and then we have a pair of Athleta leggings with pockets, not just pockets, zipper pockets. What size are they? These are uh, size extra small. They're nice, that just regular ends, and, or it's like a pre or anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and we are moving on to items that we will be pricing in the $30 to $40 range. All right, so starting off, here is a joie. Right there. Kind of. Ooh. Anyway, so this features embroidery down the sleeve and all over the top, all over the shirt. Yeah, really. Um, it does have a under layer here. And um, this one is cotton. And the style for the joie is also inside on that care tag. And this one is a medium. But how cute is this top? Even though I know it's coming into winter, but I couldn't leave it behind because I thought the embroidery just looked too good. Agreed. And then we have uh, Free People. Real nice flowy. I didn't catch the size. Uh, this one is a large. It does have a button cuff here. It's button front. Um, and it's got this really pretty embroidery in the back with the, like, um, no, no. no I want to say metallic gold. Oh, yeah, yeah, like a gold weaving mixed into it, like gold, yeah. gold thread. Look how cute that is. And then we have, a uh, Karen Millen. Yeah, so we more recently discovered this brand. Um, we do have one other piece from her. It looks like a leather jacket type piece, which hasn't sold yet. Um, but I know that this is retails for a lot. So I found this piece just because it retails for a lot does not mean that it will resell for a lot. Check your comps. Yes. So 
for the most part, a lot of her things do sell well, so I took my chance with this. Um, this was a really low price for us to pick up, so sometimes you have to take the chance and make the mistakes if it is a mistake or hope for the best. Yeah. But it's got these faux buttons coming down because it's not actually a button up, but it's like a fake shirt on top of her shirt. Yeah, it looks like you had a wet shirt painting. Or like a oh, painting you know what it looks like shirt. now that I'm looking at it? Doesn't that look like a blazer? Yeah, that's why it looks like like there was a blazer that you painted, then you laid on it. And when you got off, you left it on you, like a stamp. I don't know. I'm far from stylish, so I don't know how to explain design. Alright, so this is... Um, field flower. Field flower. I looked. I've never found. Oh, no. I have never found this before. And when I looked it up, I think this is from Anthropology. Uh, on the inside, let's see. Yep, imported by Anthropology. This is a cashmere blend top, and this is a medium. And I air think. Balloons. Hot air balloons. There you go. I was like. I caught air <laughs> balloons. <laughs> you I been. looked up ornaments. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't find the ornaments because they're not ornaments. But oh. look at the bottom of the, I don't know how to describe this, but it's got this, I don't know. Well, like, please let us know in the comments if you know how to describe this. Like login looky type bottom of the top. Yeah. Interesting. Then we have this. Uh, this is our first time finding this too. Yeah, or reading it. Intermix. Intermix. Uh, size P. And when I see these like Ooh, colors, so it makes me think of the um, you know, like the dad, like like oh, the Ron sitting, Swanson, yeah, like sitting in a nice big rocking chair or a big uh, lazy boy in front of a fireplace mm -hmm. with We're, a cup of whiskey. Yeah. So this one is a hundred per oh no, ten percent cashmere, ninety percent wool. But it's very soft. It feels very warm too. Yeah. Then we have this Madewell, uh, extra small. Uh, would you say it's a chunky knit? Yeah, chunky knit. It's a heavy knit, that's for sure. This thing is fairly heavy for the size. Yeah, I don't remember what the um, description on this. So fun fact, I knit, or I haven't knit in a while, but I was knitting and crocheting for a long time. So I had to learn the names of the different... Um, Stitches or... Yeah, but I can't remember what this one is, so just wanted to throw that in there. Fun fact, uh, I would hold the yarn and just help her unwind it, because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so just like the other ones, made well, the style number is in here. So this is the C0340. And so I did find like stock photos of this piece. It's really cute, layered. Then we have this real nice Calypso. St. Barth. Oh. There you go, Calypso St. Barth. This is a small, it is sheer. You can see us through it. Um, tunic, it's got like these little baby bell sleeves here. I don't know if this is a cover up, but this one is 100% silk. So I do find when we do pick up silk, they tend to have like little snags in them. Very tiny. This one was in amazing condition because there's like nothing, there's no snags anywhere on this piece. And another one, different design, but Calypso. Uh, tunic? Oh, it's got a little mark on the back. So I'm going to try and take off this little stain here. You guys can see that. It looks like a pencil stain or something. Yeah. Um, but it does have this like metallic embroidery in it. Um, it's a really nice tunic. Uh, also a small. And... I want to say this is also silk. Hmm. I don't know. No, it doesn't say it. But 
Real nice detail collar and on the cuffs. More stuff. Mm-hmm. And the stain. No. Oh. Then we have this very bright, I'm not sure how bright it feels in there, but this is making the whole room pink. Uh, Lululemon. I don't know if you guys can, yeah, if you guys look closely, you can see the stitching makes the, their logo. Yeah, but this Lululemon sweater features zip pockets here. This is a size four, and it's not common that we find the actual tag Tagging still attached. It, yeah. um, and it does have thumb holes on the sleeve. I mean, it's fairly, it looks like it was barely used. Yeah. One thing's for sure, you're visible if you do wear it. Yes. So someone needs this so they can go running. Safely. And then. Another one. And again, if you look closely in the stitching up front, you can see the lemon. Thumb hole. Uh, this one is just a pullover. So that last one was a full zip. This one is just a pullover. Half zip still has the tag in it this one is a size four um pockets in the front this one is just like one straight pocket has a pocket in the back yeah oh and it's got like the little Dents. ventilation and thing. then it has a yeah like the a cycling. zipper oh this is yeah. oh and it's got pockets here too yeah i think this was a cycling so what would you put oh no for running glucose well not so oh yeah you could do that too huh yeah yeah Per cool, per cool. Okay, so all the Lululemon that we showed today was from like a two block radius or a four block radius of the store that shall not be named was, they're really close to each other and on another side of town that we normally don't go to. Yeah, we actually went over there because of holiday traffic. In LA, we're from LA, traffic is heavy so we don't go to west side. Holiday traffic means we could get to the west side. All right, here we have this HD in Paris from Anthropology. This is a really nice dress. This is a size six. This also looks hardly worn, um, but it's a really nice like holiday dress. If this fit me, I would totally wear it, but it's got these cute like cap sleeves. Um, back zipper. I'm not sure how to describe this print, but it does have this like textured print. It makes me think of like diamond diamond plated metal. Yeah. And it does have a lining for the diamond plated metal. I think you understand what I mean. <laughs> uh, then we have this extra small schwa, real nice top. Uh, it actually has a little, um, I wouldn't call it a belt, but yeah, it's a ribbon belt or a string. Yeah, this is 100% silk. Yeah. Nice little dress um and i was really happy that this got it was attached to it too all right here we have do you know what this is uh yeah these are our santa monica citron here you go citron tag um you know i see a lot of people do the hand thing but it's not working okay so citron this is a large pull-up pants 100 percent silk yeah, um, real nice. Like we said, normally they'll have snacks with silk, but these are in good condition. condition yeah. Then we have a pair of Patagonia sweats. Yeah, just basic. Basic sweats. I don't know if these would be considered uh, like an underlayer. Oh, there's a snaggy hole in it. Oh no, there's another snaggy hole in it. They got in a fight with the cat. Oh, maybe these will get shipped out. Hmm. And last of the section, this nice, big, chunky, heavy J. Crew. Just, what yeah. do you call this color again? Um, Marble? Marled? I don't Marled. Know. But it's 100% cotton. I really, really like this, like, heavy, like, shawl-looking yeah. thing in the front. Um, it just reminds me of... So if any of you watch Parks and Rec... Our favorite character, or one of our favorite one characters. One of our favorite characters. Is Ron Swanson. It's very Swanson-esque. Yeah. All right, moving along to the items we're going to price in the 40 to $50 range. All right, so here we have a Hugo find. Yeah, 
found this shirt while, like I've said many times, when I'm going to the store, I go through hard goods, electronics, and then I go over to clothing. And I found this Apple Parks shirt. Um, I didn't realize what it was until I looked it up. And it's kind of like a, a souvenir? souvenir of the Apple University Park. Yeah. Uh, it comes in different colors, but we actually couldn't find this exact color, which means well, we got the market. Yeah, so the only ones that we were finding were the rainbow colored circle. Um, and then we hit the jackpot. Both of these are Kate Spade dresses. Here you go, Kate Spade. This is a size zero. And this one is also a size zero. Um, this really nice shift dress with like a diamond embroidery and it features a gold zipper on the back and then this cute little polka dot dress um that's all i got yeah with the keyhole in the back we have this talula which was something that i recently discovered from aritzia this one is a cashmere blend this is a large poncho hoodie sweater poncho Poncho? Thing. Yeah. Someone needs this. This is really cute. And it's got pockets in the front too. So. I mean, pockets. pockets, hood, cashmere blend. We I got mean, it. Oh, and the little buttons right here. Um, this one. So I tried to find this item. I could not find anything like this listed anywhere. So I'm gonna keep looking for a little bit, but if not, I'm just gonna price it up there with best offer because it's winter and this is like the perfect winter piece. Gorgeous. Then we have this very heavy, because I feel like the hanger might give, uh, Banana Republic, where are you at? I don't want to there. New with tags, button front jacket, right? Yep, and it retails for 130. Nice. Um, and I think this one is a uh, wool, 100% wool. Explains the weight. Mm-hmm. Um, but really nice. Like, did you already say snap front? Uh, I called it button, but yeah, snap. Yeah, snap, snap. Yep. Very nice. And then we got some pants. So both of these are from. The brand that we were talking about earlier, these cool pants. Um, this one, uh, if you look on the inside, this one is the Radical Pants. And this one is a size 34 by 32. Men's outdoor pants. And it's got a ton of pockets everywhere because you need all the pockets for all the things. It's true. In the wild. I like pockets. Oh, okay. Uh, and here's the other one. So this is a 34 by 32 as well. And this one is the... Where are you at? It doesn't say it. I was born in the mountains. I know it's not part of it. But real nice hiking pants. Let's see? Yeah. These are actually my size. Except I don't need them. And I don't wear pants. <laughs> I mean, I wear shorts. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't run around bottomless, but even if it's raining, I think he wore shorts to the snow. But I had boots on. And a sweater. Yes. In shorts. All right. Finishing up, we have, this is the 50 to $60 range. This is the first time we found Bryn Walker, made in the USA. Um, a login look style single button like vest dress vest i don't know i'm not sure what to call dress. this it's not really a dress but is it a dress cover up i think it's like a cover up you obviously need to wear something under this if you know what that's called again we appreciate the help um but this is a hundred percent linen yeah and this is a size extra large uh then we have this max mara um Full wrap dress, long sleeve. This one is a wool blend. So 
the tag for this on the inside. This one is a size 38. So I think this is a European 38. Um, yeah, wool blend. And that is all I got. Yeah. All right, so if you saw our IG stories from, I think, when? Tuesday? Yeah. On Tuesday, we ran into a thrift store and within the first 10 minutes, I think the majority of the anthro pieces from the beginning of our haul, this Patagonia and a Patagonia that he's gonna keep, 10 minutes into the store, new racks came in. All of this was on the first two racks that I looked at. Yeah. No and one had gotten to them yet. It was just a quick shot because we got to, we were meeting with Orlando, Pure Podcast, to eat lunch or dinner. Yeah. But uh, literally had an extra time. So when you get a chance, pop in. You never know what you'll find. And go straight for the new racks mm -hmm. because you never know. This one is a Patagonia men's large bright green sweater, zipper pockets. Um, I actually found a second one identical to this. The other one is like in a... Olive green? Yeah, more olive green. So he's keeping that one. Uh... Then, now we're in this next section. So this is in our... Above and beyond, we're not sure exactly. Okay, so this one, I don't know how many of you are familiar with this, but this one is Levi's, but it is a specific, like, sub section. Sub level? Yeah, I don't know. But this one, if you like, it says made and crafted Levi's. This one's made in Italy, and it is a size two. And this is like their higher end Levi's and it's got these really nice wooden buttons and then the bottom part is like hidden buttons but these buttons are really cool. I don't know if it's going to show up on screen but the buttons actually say made and crafted like along the rim. That's the rim. Uh, the edge. Yeah. Okay. So all the buttons have that along yeah. the edge. Um. Obviously, your lower end items are not gonna go. They're not gonna go through the trouble of doing that. Yeah, so I think retail for made and crafted. Uh, when I looked on their website, I think it was in the like mid hundred dollar ranges for shirts. So crossing fingers. I mean, obviously, it's not gonna get the same as the new price, but crossing. Okay, and then this is another Levi's, but this one is vintage and I couldn't even find this tag anywhere and you see this Levi's mm -hmm. and it just says machine wash that's it um but when I found this one one this tag stood out to me because I've never seen that before and then also if you look closely this is Levi's but with the big E hmm so definitely vintage. Yeah, real nice and uh, it's very um, clean. I try to look up the tags so if anyone watching this knows what era this is from. Um, our friend Allison, Big Drift Thrift on Instagram, finds a lot of like vintage pieces up or she is in Alaska. I think she... She, I think she said 70s, 60s, yeah. 70s. She was thinking that's from like the 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. but... But she wasn't 100% sure either. So any help all right um but that was it for our clothing haul oh wait and one last piece is that skirt this is the first time i found this brand this is babaton in a size zero um but it is this pencil skirt with a slit in the front and it's in like a nude taupe color mm -hmm. but really nice dress Skirt. Skirt. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it. Now, off to Hugo's Hard Goods. All right, so um, in Hugo's Hard Goods section, um, I was... Oh. Yeah. So, I don't know how well you could hear me, but found this awesome piece. Woo! No, I am not the real Black Panther, but very excited for this helmet. 
Look at the full wraparound helmet that, I'm not sure if it'll actually show here, but there you go, a little couple flashes there. It actually lights up throughout the mask. Real cool. So at first it looks like a basic Halloween, but this is actually a collector's piece that people buy and use in this condition can go about 60 bucks. I'm gonna price it real high so that it never sells and I keep it, but we'll see. <laughs> Next up we have See if you guys know what this character is from. Uh, hey, hey. It's from Rugrats. Uh, this is Chucky. So they do make the dolls, you know, throughout the years and whatnot. But like most of the plush, check behind, pull down his pants. Sounds awkward, but look, we get the Nickelodeon tag, and then on there we have the 1997 tag too as well. So, looking it up, it goes for about 25 and this one's a little dirty, so I'm going to try to clean it up. Uh, because of that, I'm saying about 20 25 This is older than us. Well, older than as long as we've known each other. Yes. By a year. By a year. <laughs> then picked up a new sealed DVD set here. This is From the Earth to the Moon. Hard to see, very reflective. Uh, I have no idea anything about it, but scanned, checked, and it sells. You um, never know. And it's a 1998 Emmy Award winning series. <laughs> Last thing we got here is uh, this board game, uh, Reverse Charades. I wasn't sure. The box was not really that appealing to me, but I grabbed it, took a look, and I actually first looked at it for eBay. And I was like, oh, okay, it sells on eBay for about 34 bucks or so. Cool. Uh, plus shipping. Then when we got home, we were talking to Orlando again, and curiosity struck, I scanned it for Amazon. And it sells for 60 something on Amazon. So, yeah, this is going to Amazon. Yeah, and if you had a chance to check out our Amazon tips for beginners, we talked about how it can be really deterring when you're out there scanning for Amazon because you can scan all day and not find anything. Yeah. And that was that day scanning for like hours at multiple stores and that oh, was yeah. the one thing we found unintentionally. Yeah, well that yeah, cuz that was at a again, that was at a thrift store. We weren't even doing, you know, retail arbitrage and scanning. That was at a thrift store where we normally go with the mindset that's going to go on eBay Posh and Mercari. Yep. And um, that concludes our thrift haul for this week. Um, look out for our thrift haul next week because it will be a bins haul. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a fun weekend. Uh, yeah, so again, as always. Thank you for joining us. Hit Give that us likes or thumbs. Thumbs. Up. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we're coming on here. Uh, we are doing our best to stay on track and we have about, what, three videos a week? We have Mondays are what sold. Wednesday is uh, some kind of educational or variety video, and then Fridays are Thanks hauls, well. like what you're watching now. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Um, leave us comments and talk to us. Yeah, let's have some fun. Bye bye. <laughs>